Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print left triangle star pattern. So what exactly is this left triangle star pattern? Let me show you first. So this is nothing but a left triangle star pattern guys. If you explore it clearly, this will look like this. It's a left triangle star pattern. So by looking at this left uh, triangle star pattern, first thing we should get into our mind is how many rows does this left triangle star pattern has? One row, two row, three row, four row, and total five rows. Total five rows, guys. So here we need to write a for loop which will iterate five times. Int i is equal to zero, i less than how many times? Five times, i plus plus. This for loop will iterate five times and this for loop is meant for this number of rows if there are five rows we should create a for loop which will iterate five times now next thing we need to see in this program is spaces we have to print spaces in every row guys in every row if you observe there are some spaces and there is a star right there are some spaces and there is a star some spaces and stars, spaces and stars like that. So how many spaces should be there in the first row? There should be something around nine spaces, guys. Okay, including star in the fifth row, there are five stars. Five stars means five into two, 10. So one star, the remaining will be the spaces. So nine spaces here. In the second row, there should be seven spaces. Seven, eight, nine, 10, like this. This is 9 plus 1, 10. This is 7, 8, 9, 10. So everything will become 10. Everything is going to become 10, guys. So from here to here, it should become 10. So remaining will be spaces. 9 spaces here. Here 7 spaces. So remaining 3 are 2 stars and 1 space. So this will become 10 again. This one is 5 spaces. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then here, three spaces, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then here, only one space, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is working perfectly fine, right? If you can clearly observe, here, nine spaces, here, seven spaces, here, five spaces, here, three spaces, and here, one space. This is what we have to do. So inside this uh, for loop, we need to print spaces here for every row. There will be different spaces and also along with the space after printing the spaces we should also print stars star patterns also we have to print we have to print stars also how many stars let's find it out in the first row there should be only one star in the second row there should be two stars in the third row three stars in the fourth row four stars in the fifth row five stars so like this guys we have to plan for printing this left triangle star pattern okay so let's write the logic for printing the spaces first. That is in the first row, nine spaces, second row, seven spaces, in the third row, five spaces, fourth row, three spaces, in the last row, one space. So for doing so, we'll create a for loop for int j is equal to one, j less than, j less than this five guys, total number of rows, that is five minus i, what this value will give us, five minus i means, Five minus one is five minus i is i is zero in the first iteration i is zero. We have to see whether in the first row this logic will print nine spaces or not. Like that we have to build the logic. Five minus i. Five is number of rows. Minus i is in the first iteration i is zero. Five minus zero is zero. Uh, five minus zero is five. So less than five means uh, j less than five means. Starting from one here, one, two, three, four, only four will come, but we want nine. For that, what I will do is, we'll multiply this pi minus i like this. Okay, the result of pi minus i will multiply by pi, two. Two into pi minus i. Two into pi minus i. What this logic will work or not? Let's see. This for loop we should iterate nine times because we need nine spaces here. This, the first iteration, the first iteration when i is zero, this for loop should iterate 
nine times for printing nine spaces. So here, when you say two into five minus i, this five minus i will be calculated first in the first iteration. I is zero, so five minus zero is five. Two into five is ten. J is equal to one. J less than ten. How many values will come? Starting from one, less than ten. That means one to nine only, right? That means nine spaces will be printed with this logic in the first row. Then J plus plus. Hope you, hope this logic is making sense, guys, for you. Okay, like this, we have to build this logic. Two into five minus i is going to start starting from one to less than ten means it will be nine only. Nine spaces will be printed in the when i is zero. What about when i is one? When i is one, five minus one is four. Two four is eight. So starting from one to less than eight means total seven. One to seven. Second row it will be seven. What about third row when i becomes two in the third row? Five minus two is three. Three to the six. Starting from one to less than six. That is five. That for that is also perfect. Here five. In the third row it's five. What about in the fourth row? In the fourth row i will become three. Five minus three is two. Two to the four. Okay. Starting from one to less than four. That means three only. One two three. Four is not allowed, right? Fine. So uh, what about uh, here? We got three, right? Here nine. Here seven. Here five. Here three. What about in the last row? Only one should come. Let's see whether one will come from this output. So here I will become four. Five minus four is one. Two into one is two. One. Starting from one, j less than two. That means only one, right? Only one. Like that, guys. So we are going to print spaces like this. Based on this i value, we are going to print the spaces. If it is first row, nine spaces will be printed. If it is second row, seven spaces will be printed. Like that, we are planning this. Here, we will print spaces. Fine. This is this uh, first for loop is only for printing the spaces, guys. This first for loop is only for printing the spaces. Now. We have to print the stars. How many stars we have to print? The stars are like uh, here. The first row only one star, second row two stars, third row three stars, fourth row four stars, and fifth row five stars. We have to print like that. For that, let's create another for loop. For int k is equal to for int k is equal to zero, k less than or equal to i, k plus plus. This will print number of Stars according to the number uh, number okay according to the row number according to the row row number you have to print the number of stars. If the row number is if the row number is one, then one star will be printed. If the row number is two, two stars will be printed. If the row number is three, three stars will be printed. Like that guys. So here we have to write for int k is equal to zero, k is less than or equal to i, k plus plus. So here we have to remove the stars. So now we'll be printing the stars. System dot out dot print. Remove this ln and simply print star. Here we are going to print the star. Fine. So let's see whether in the first row how many stars will be printed, in the second row how many stars will be printed. Let's see. When i is equal to zero, okay. When i is equal to zero, this for loop when it iterates k is equal to zero, zero less than or equal to zero. Okay. Here zero less than or equal to i. That is zero. So here one star will be printed. This condition is true, and one star will be printed. Then k plus plus k will become one. One less than record is equal to false. So in the first row only one star got printed. What about when i is one? When i is called one. When i is called one, k will start from zero. Zero less than or equal to one. This is for second row, guys. In case of second row, i value will be one. And zero less than or k is zero. Zero less than or equal to one is true. One star will be printed. After that, k plus plus k will become one. One less than or equal to one. Still true. Again, one more star. When k becomes two, this condition will fail. And only two stars got printed. In the second row, two stars. Like that. In the third row, three stars. Fourth row, four stars. Fifth row, five stars. But one more thing we have to do, guys. That is, after printing this star, after printing this star, we have to move to the new line, right? For that purpose, after this for loop, we'll simply write. System dot out dot print yellow. It's one thing, and also there's one more thing, guys. Here, after printing the star, you see there should be a space. Here between the stars there are spaces, right? For that reason, we have to add a space here. After star, we have to add a space here. Now save this and run this code, guys. This should print our 
left triangle star pattern successfully okay this should print this logic should print left star okay left triangle star pattern should be printed now using this logic you see the left triangle star pattern got printed successfully here nine spaces here seven spaces here five spaces three spaces and one space and the first row one star two star three star four star five star and between the stars there are spaces also so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to print left triangle star pattern so that's it guys thank you bye